What's up guys, welcome back to Horsepower and Pizza. Today's video is a little bit different. This is stuff that I had filmed the better part of a year ago, back in May of 2022, when I was working on getting my E36 finished up. I never finished the video. I had issues plumbing the hoses to the cooling system, which you now know is finished because I'll put the link up here somewhere to the video of us bleeding the system and everything's working great with that. In the same video, I started to wire the fan. We wired it with an inline fuse, which is not the way to do it. You need a relay on that. The way that it's wired is not the way that it's currently wired and I'm not gonna teach you how to do it anyway because I don't want to be responsible for somebody else's misfortune if something gets wired wrong. I'm not comfortable enough to teach wiring. Um, I'm learning a lot but I'm not the best with electrical stuff and I'll be the first one to admit that. So that portion of the video is mainly just me and my friends having fun in the garage but I hope you guys enjoy the video anyway. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already please subscribe and stay tuned for more content. Huge progress made on this thing in the last week. Now it does run and drive. No more vacuum leak everything's good to go there. I forgot to film me taking the black vinyl off of the roof. Tyler and I got the car running and then we just kind of sat here and hung out and while we were talking I pulled all the vinyl up. The panel is the worst because this is a lot smoother than it looks. I think I'm going to end up pulling the trim out the whole way around because it is missing a piece. I'll caulk the whole thing make it look nice and then I'm either going to paint the roof or rhino line it. Not really sure. Just to make it look better than it does. This is actually the second time that I've started this video now. Things got a lot easier than I thought they were going to be. I am going to get the cooling system mounted, plumbed, and hopefully we get the fan wired in. The fans that run off of the water pump are notorious in these cars and the E46s and everything from this generation of failing and they take out the radiator, they take out the hood, everything in their way. Now I spent a fair chunk of change on this radiator and cooling system and I would really, really, really like to not spend that chunk of change more often than I need to. Now things happen, I might break it. I. It's not going to break due to the quality of the system. It's a drift car, track car, whatever you want to call it. Things break. So if I can get away with just replacing bits and pieces, that's cool. If it's something I can avoid, like a fan failure, definitely going to do that. So with that being said, I have opted for the electric slim fan from Mishimoto. It's in here. I'm going to mount that up last. I had two or three design iterations of a rad support to hold this, cradle it into the chassis here. I went on Chase Bay's website because I wanted to see how they did it. And I'm looking at their pictures, which I'll put up right here. I don't see any custom fabrication or rad support or anything, really. So here's where things get super simplified and all of my design work goes out the window. I go on YouTube to see how everybody else is mounting them in the E36. The only real video I could find a guy's putting a 2JZ in one of these cars. Now my car doesn't have a 2JZ in it, it just has the stock M50, but mounting is just as simple. They come with these tabs welded on either side of the radiator. He drilled a hole in this side, and he drilled a hole in this side, and you have these nice flanges at the end of the frame rails. They have those four studs for the crash support, or in my case, a bash bar to mount up. When he drilled the holes here, he mounted them right here on the inside lower stud. Super simple. So I'm gonna take a couple quick measurements so we make sure that we're in the right position and we're gonna drill some holes and mount some things up. It's hard to do this one-handed, so you're gonna have to take my word for it, but if I measure off the one inch point there, center to center on the studs is 27 and an eighth inches. Subtract that inch, we're 26 and an eighth center to center on the studs. So now the fun part is measuring the rad because it's not really a flat thing to get a measurement of. Both tabs are two and three quarter, so that's five and a half inches of material. And measuring across the body, we are 21 and about seven eighths, which gives us an overall length of 27 and three eighths. So you take the overall length minus the center line, you get an inch and a quarter, you divide that by two because you're doing it from either side to even it up. You are now 0.625, which is five eighths of an inch from the edge is where you're gonna have to drill your holes. With the measurements I took, and I did some magical math over here, not really, it's just simple addition, subtraction, and uh, division. I wanna put my holes on center this way, and they're 5 8 from either end. Puts those holes on the same center line as the studs. I'll drill the holes a little bit big, so I have a little bit of play for fitment, and we'll be good. I drilled these a 16th and an eighth, and then I went straight to 5 16th. So they are drilled. I am going to deburr them with a countersink real quick and then we will test mount to the car. So we're mounted on the bottom studs, 
Holes turned out okay. It mounts on the bottom studs and not the top because you only have about, I don't know, five sixteenths of a gap. Up top on either side, looks killer. Now I'm kind of proud of this part. I freehanded those holes. I laid them out with a Sharpie and a scale, center punched them and then drilled them. As it sits, it is level within a degree and a quarter. I don't know, maybe nine years in the machine shop and some perfectionist OCD, uh, I'm pretty proud of that. If I bolt the bash bar back on here, it's only going to pinch on this tab and the one on the other side. So I need to make spacers for the remaining six studs. I made six of these spacers. They are still about a millimeter or a 32nd thinner than these tabs. I threw some stainless washers on behind those aluminum spacers. So now I'm gonna throw the bash bar back on and I'll show you how it all fits up. This is everything all bolted up, bash bars on there. Rad is in there, super snug. Really happy with how everything fits up. Of course, it's, it's how it goes. I ordered all of the hoses that Chase Bays told me to order because I reached out to make sure that I ordered the right things. Nothing lines up or fits, unfortunately. I can trim some hoses here and there, but it's still not perfect. I'm not gonna blame them though. There is a solution. I flipped the rad 180 degrees, so now the coolant fill port will be on that side instead of over here. That's fine. Now, these hoses, meet up, okay? And then here, I'm going to trim one of my 90s to fit here. It will come across here in a straight piece into a 180 back into the thermostat housing. I already ordered those pieces. I'm hoping they're in stock because that means they will probably be here this week. It's really not that big of a deal, but that's where I have to stop for today. Other than, I think Danny and I are gonna wire the fan in. Yes, yeah, so we'll wire the fan in, and then this video will pick back up when those other hoses come in. Psych alive. Abe's here. I don't, you guys haven't seen Abe in like six years. That's his rig. We love that for him. He built that bed himself. He just hood stacked it the other day because, uh, Third gen, five nine things. But we do have power, the fan does run. We're gonna figure out how we're gonna wire that to the switch panel that's in there in front of the shifter. Nobody said you would put power to it. Uh, I just sit here holding it like this, it takes off out of my hand. Is the switch off? No. <laughs> Hopefully it's off. Uh-oh. No, it is on. Hold on. It was on. The knob was up, but the switch was not. Interesting. Now, uh, hold on. You're gonna have power both ways, I just realized. That's why I said hold on, but you're not listening. Yeah, sorry. Just shut your car off. All right, Timmy, you can shut that off. I'll just hit the button again. Yeah. Ugh. All right, third time's the charm, yeah? Seven. Oh, seven. What's the third time since I've been here? Okay. Okay. That's, that's promising. Ready? It might shock you a little bit. Yep. She works. The OnlyFans works. Yahtzee. Oh, subscribe to my OnlyFans. <laughs> if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Follow us on all other platforms at Horsepower Pizza. If you would like to support, head over to www.horsepowerandpizza.com. All of the merch sales funnel straight back into the channel. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Build it for you.